This video is sponsored by Ulegu. What's up guys, it's Max here. In this video, I'll be doing a review of the Elegu Super Starter Kit. Elegu is an Amazon seller most popular for their 3D printers along with their Arduino based robotics kits similar to the one I'm holding here. This kit includes quite a number of different modules and electronic components for various cool projects. It's not only for beginners, but also for those of you who already have quite a bit of experience working with Arduino. I've also left a link in the description below this video to where you can buy your own Super Starter Kit. Alright, so let's open up the box. Opening up the box, we have a little message from Malegu on a slip of paper. Right below that, we have the CD including the PDF instructions, code, and the libraries, which is like an additional part to the code, as well as the electronic components and modules, of which are also listed on the cover or the lid of the box. So here we have the programmable board itself, the Alega Uno R3, containing a well-known chip called the Atmega 328P. You'd normally program the Uno or any other Arduino board with the C++ programming language. So we've seen the Alega Uno R3, let's take a look at some of the other components and modules. A 16x2 LCD screen, prototype expansion module, power supply module, stepper motor driver, stepper motor, servo motor, 5 volt relay, infrared receiver and remote, joystick module, temperature and humidity sensor, ultrasonic sensor, DC motor and fan blade, active buzzer, passive buzzer, shift register chip, motor driving chip, 5 button switches, 10k potentiometer, 1 digit 7 segment display, 4 digit 7 segment display tilt ball sensor switch, solderless breadboard, USB programming cable, female to male DuPont wires, breadboard jumper wires, 9 volt battery with a snap on connector clip, a pack of varying resistors, 5 mm LEDs, thermistor, rectifier diodes, photo resistors, and finally a couple of NPN transistors. And that is all that's included in the starter kit. After inserting the included CD, you're going to want to open it up on your computer. Here you'll see a data sheet of all the components as well as seven different languages to choose from. Of course, I'll go with English. This folder contains the codes for each example project. If you go back out, you will see a folder called libraries and there you have all the zip files of each project that requires an additional part to its code. If you open up the PDF instruction manual, there's a little introduction to Alegu and who they are, as well as the list of modules and electronic components included and a list of different lessons or projects you can try out. Below there's a bit of guidance on how to set up the software and how to add libraries to your code, which I'll show you how to do a little bit later. The PDF includes a tutorial on 20 different programmable projects. The first example project I'll be showing you is on lesson 14 about LCD display and the hello world code. Here's a little two-dimensional diagram of what wire goes where and how to connect things up. And here's an image of how it should look like in real life. With the included USB cable, connect up your LEGO Uno to your computer. Then go to the code folder. Under lesson 14, you'll find the code to this project. So here's the hello world code for this LCD display project. It's already pre-written for us, but before we upload, we have to include one of the library's zip files called Liquid Crystal. To import one, you're gonna wanna click on Sketch, Include Library, and then Add Zip Library. Once you found the libraries folder under the DVD drive, click on the Liquid Crystal zip file, and then import it. Just before you upload the code, be sure to check under Tools that the Arduino Uno is selected and the correct COM port. And now let's upload it to the Alega Uno. Now let's assemble this project according to the PDF instructions.
After plugging in the battery, you see that the LCD screen instantly lights up and displays Hello World. You can adjust the intensity and brightness of the LCD screen with the potentiometer on the left. I couldn't help myself but rewrite the code with my channel name instead of Hello World. So now you'll see it on the LCD screen. That was a pretty cool project, so let's try out another one. This is Lesson 24 about controlling a stepper motor with an IR remote. Open up the sketch under Lesson 24. Do just as we did in the last project, but here you're going to want to import two zip files in order to get this code working, and then upload it to the Olegu Uno. Now let's assemble the stepper motor project. Be sure to supply the Arduino with a separate power supply. Another way is just to connect it up to your computer. To make the motor turn in a clockwise direction, press the volume up button. And to make it turn counterclockwise, press the volume down button. To make it a bit more visible to you guys that the motor is turning, I attached on a wheel. temperature and humidity display. Servo distance indicator with an ultrasonic sensor. Tilt sensor alarm system. Temperature controlled DC fan. Joystick RGB LED control. Alright guys, that is all for my video review of the Alegu Super Starter Kit. And if you're looking to buy a decent Arduino based robotics kit, then this little box of electronic goodies may be the one for you. Once again, I've left a link in the description below this video to where you can buy this kit. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel with the notification bell ticked not to miss any of my upcoming videos. That's all for now, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace!